You're watching BTV. Fiery Zinc has an ambitious goal, advancing a district scale project. To succeed, they'll need a lot of zinc and the right people. The company's CEO comes from Ross River, the closest town to the project, and he believes that really gives him a hometown advantage. Yukon is a big area, but it's still a small community, and having those personal ties within the community, the First Nations, and the government makes a big difference in your ability to get things done. The discovery of mineralization in the area goes back as far as 1951. Fiery Zinc's Macmillan Pass project is the consolidation of numerous claims. Over the years, nearly $100 million worth of exploration and development has taken place. McMillan Pass is host to already an established resource that is world-class for zinc lead deposits and it is also a 540 square kilometer uh, project that has tremendous blue sky potential for exploration. The company has completed both a resource report and a preliminary economic assessment based on the exploration of two large deposits named Tom and Jason. We've grown the resource significantly since we took on uh, the property in 2017. We're now up to 39 million tons of inferred and 11 million tons of indicated resource. So just how big a project is Fireweed Zinc dealing with? When McMillan Pass is in production, uh, it would be very big. So we'd ship probably around 250,000 tons of concentrate a year between zinc and lead. Uh, and that would make it one of the probably 15 to 20 largest uh, zinc producing mines in the world. But that projection is only based on what's currently known about the Tom and Jason deposits. The unexplored areas of the property could expand the resource considerably. No one's done any systematic exploration in this area since the 1990s. So it's a real opportunity to apply modern concepts to old ideas of some of the largest zinc properties in the world. There are three other known zones of mineralization right now. Each of these three zones is, is different, but each represents a, a possibility for a game-changing resource. That game-changing possibility has not gone unnoticed. We were very happy in early 2019 to welcome Tech as a major investor in the company. Uh, they currently own 9.9% .9 of Fireweed Zinc. An equally significant vote of confidence is having John Robbins chairing your board. He was the founder and chairman of Kamenak Gold. They discovered 5 million ounces of gold and Goldcore bought the company in 2016 for 520 million. His vision for fireweed is clear. Unlocking value that other people didn't see. And I see uh, fireweed zinc as a perfect opportunity for that. It's got world-class exploration potential. It's underpinned by one of the world's largest undeveloped zinc deposits in a pro-mining jurisdiction. The Yukon is awesome, I love it here. If you're a big believer in the infrastructure booms in Asia and refresh in, in the US and, and the rest of the Western world, uh, then you're a big believer in zinc. As exploration continues, Fireweed believes results will show investors the enormous potential of zinc in the Yukon.